when, in the 2009 series of Britain Has Talent, contestant 43212, a slightly unkempt and somewhat rotund middle-aged lady, walked onto the stage, the panel of judges and the audience were immediately sceptical. Her name? My name is Susan Boyle. The scepticism increased when she struggled to answer a simple question. I am from Blackburn near Bathgate, West Lothian. It's a big town. It's a sort of collection of... It's a collection of... Uh, villages. I to think there. And increased yet further when asked... And how old are you, Susan? I am 47. <laughs> and that's just one side of me. The scepticism then turned to ridicule when she said, OK, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. And why hasn't it worked out so far, Susan? I've never been given the chance before, but he's hoping it'll change. OK, and who would you like to be as successful as? Elaine Page. Elaine Page. Like what are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing I Dreamed a Dream from the Miserables. OK. Big song. <laughs> but as the music began, and everyone watching braced themselves in anticipation of public humiliation, but gripped with morbid fascination, something quite extraordinary happened. I dreamed a dream in time gone by So this got me thinking, there are many people here on YouTube with talent, so how about an MSF's Got Talent competition for this year's 24-hour MSF Blog TV charity show? Here's how it'll work. If you can sing or play an instrument, or have any other talent, then make a video and post it as a response to this video. I anticipate that most entries will be musical, but they don't have to be. You may, for example, have a talent for juggling kittens or putting lots of straws in your mouth or even wearing lots of underpants but if it is that I think you should watch this video of the Geordie Pants Man before submitting an entry here we see the Geordie Pants Man breaking the world record for wearing the most number of underpants in one sitting or standing by wearing 211 pairs the top six entries will be played during the 24 hour show then we'll do a live poll during the show to decide the winner, who, if available, will be invited to co-host during the course of the show. They will also be awarded the prestigious MSF Charity Blog TV's Got Talent 2010 Egg Cup. I've tried contacting Simon Cowell, but unfortunately he seems to be having some sort of maintenance work at the moment and hasn't got back to me yet. The rules are as follows. All entries must be made as a video response to this video on this channel. They must be under five minutes long, and everyone entering must mirror this video. Videos containing anything illegal will not be accepted, nor will any videos that contain anything dangerous or potentially dangerous. For example, here we see the legendary Catherine Destevelle free climbing in Africa. Although highly impressive, this entry would not be allowed. She's about 300 feet off the ground at this point. Wow, it is impressive though, isn't it? Whilst we're watching that, let me just remind you that the event will take place on the 18th of September and there'll be more videos being posted informing you of what's going to be taking place during the course of the show. But back to the competition. If you think you've got talent, or you could be the next Susan Boyle, make a video. I look forward to seeing it. And good luck. It feels pretty sore at the minute, man, but I'm just absolutely delighted. I wanted to really crack it.
<laughs> I think you enjoyed that just a little. What did you have? <laughs> just so emotional. Unbelievable and emotional. And fantastic. Thank you for watching.